all right hello guys and welcome back to our youtube channel i am olua femi Shuoli, and today we will be talking on the title husbands and fathers do better to all of our subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. We say this all the time just to let you know that we appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching our videos. If you are a first timer on this page or you've been on this page a few times and you haven't subscribed, please encourage us by subscribing, like, comment and share our videos so that other people can see this content. By this, we are encouraged to do more and to do better. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Do I want to be like my father? This is the question I have asked myself that I have thought and ruminated on over and over and over again. You see a lot of people that have mentors. And when I say mentors, I'm restricting into relationship and marriages. They have mentors. They have people they look up to outside their immediate environment. If we as children cannot pick up our fathers as mentors if we as children cannot look at our fathers as very good husbands to our mothers then it means that something is wrong that is why i'm making this short video just to charge my guys out there that as fathers and as husbands we need to do better see we don't need it as an achievement for our children to look up to us for our children to look to, to see us as mentors. But it means that we are doing the right things if our children can see us as mentors. It means we are doing the right things if our, our children can say that this is the kind of husband I want to be, this is the kind of father I want to be. It means we are doing a lot of things right. Personally, I want to be a kind of father who doesn't see raising children or training children or who doesn't see taking care of children as an achievement? I want to see it as a responsibility, not as an achievement. A lot of our parents give trip us or have this kind of emotional blackmail over us. Eh, I suffered because of you. I sent you to school. I did this. I fed you. I housed you. But they say these things as, as an achievement. That how many of my mates can do this? How many of us? I, I, I want us as young guys to see beyond that. I want us to see it as a responsibility. That as husbands, we can take care of our wives. We can do good to our wives. We can love our wives without expecting anything in return. That because I have done this for you, you are supposed to do this. Or because I, 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 I behave like this, I go out to work for the family. I provide for the family. No, 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 no. you for not even provide for the family now. We are not supposed to see these things as achievements. And this thing, it annoys me. So every day I live my life with the consciousness that this is the kind of husband I want to be. This is the kind of father I want to be. I want to do things for my wife. I want to do things for my children that I won't expect anything in return. I won't expect that... Uh, I think I saw this thread online that um, Africans or Nigerians... As children, you are the retirement plan of your parents. I don't want to be that kind of father. I don't want to raise my children so that they can now be my retirement plan. I don't want to. In fact, the consciousness is really, really heavy on me. I don't want to be that kind of father. We need to do better. As husbands, we need to love our wife to do good to our wife and not expect anything in return. It is not an achievement that you are a good husband. It is not an achievement. It is a responsibility. It is not an achievement that you have trained your children and sent them to school to university level. It is not an achievement. No, you should feel proud of, of yourself that you can do these things. But don't see it as an achievement. That is not enough reason to now have emotional blackmail over your children. That is not enough reason to guilt strip your children. Part of what will help, I mean, when you are drifting out of that consciousness, part of what will help you to realign yourself to that consciousness is having a circle of friends. A circle of good friends that you can be accountable to. You know, I have, just to set an example, I have a friend I call Brashegun. Brashegun is one that if you treat your woman unfairly, Brashegun, that friendship will end right away. The friendship ends there. 
or it gets to know that there's some kind of abuse in your relationship or in your marriage, either emotional abuse, physical abuse, or you are not treating your woman the right way, that can end your relationship with him. If you have friends like that around you, see, once in a while, it will realign you with that consciousness that, no, you need to do better. Why? Because you have a circle of friends that are determined with you to do better as husbands and as fathers. I hope that with these few points, these well laid down points of mine, I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that we need a world where our children can look to their immediate environment, into their family and say, I want to be like my father. A lot of people don't have their fathers, their biological fathers as mentors. They, ra they would rather go outside to have other fathers. They look at other fathers, they look up to them and say, I wish my father was like this. We need to change that narrative. We need our children to look up to us and say, I want to be like my father. I want my father to be my mentor. My father is my role model. That is the kind of narrative we want to have. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye.